Jackson. Thanks for tuning in to 101.3 BKMG, The Farce. Coming to you live from separate places, pre-recorded. Now presenting, The Bane and Mickey Show. I'm going to clap now. Ha! Great. <laughs> Thank you. I am an excellent clapper. Yes, you are. Yeah, you really are. That's how I'm going to break into the film industry. Actually, as a professional clapper. Oh, I'll just that do okay. With my hands. You know, I've got a script. And I'll just say the scene and take. That requires a professional. This clapper. is clapper. Scene twenty-three. Take two apples, and I'll clap it. Beautiful. And then I will be a professional. Wow. 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 Not to brag, but that's my plan. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a good plan. Better plan than I have. You know, my plan is find work. So what work hard like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. You stupid fool. I know. You fool. And look where it's got me, you know, (laughs) hasn't gotten me anywhere, but I also don't work that hard or try. So, that would probably have something to do with it anyways. Oof. Oof. Big burn. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. Burn on me. To the Bane and Mickey show. I'm your host, Kendall Yoder. The Bane and Mickey show. And that's your host, I'm Gavin Sidis. Who? Who is that guy? Who the heck? Know. Why even? Okay. Um. I am Jeremy Buttresses. <laughs> Okay, Gavin. Okay. Whatever you got to tell yourself, you Jeremy know? Jeremy Whatever buttresses. you got to tell yourself. For legal reasons. <laughs> um, welcome back, and thanks for joining us. And, um, yeah, Gavin, have you seen anything good recently? I watched both Christmas Chronicles movies with Kurt Russell okay. and Goldie Hawn. Okay. They were interesting. Again, Kurt Russell is saying it was pretty cool. I think I've seen those. Are these on Netflix? Are, is this the Netflix one? Yes. Okay. They are. Yeah. No, I have not. Watched yes. Them. Um, I can't do. They're interesting. Cheesy Christmas movies. Then you really shouldn't be watching any Christmas movies because they're all really <laughs> cheesy. Um. But the second one has a uh, Julian Dennison. Oh. Oh wow. Plays a disgruntled elf called Belschner. <laughs> And even though everybody in the North Pole has uh, American accents, he somehow has a Kiwi accent. Interesting. You know, North Pole, South Pole, all the poles. Accents are tricky. He's an elf. It doesn't matter. Um, Once again, well, I guess I kind of have been watching holiday stuff. Well, I don't know. I've been watching Great British Baking Show um, again more. Um, but I've been watching, uh, they put up some new holiday episodes, um, which are great. Yes. Uh, and then I was so glad that, uh, Brian, yeah, won. that was a good one. Um, and then I've also, I've been watching them with my mom remotely. So like, I'll call her up and then we'll press play at the same time. And then we'll watch the great British baking show. Cause we would watch it together when times were normal. So that's what we we've been doing Aww. recently. But we were watching um the older seasons. Um so on Netflix they're under the Great British Baking Show The Beginnings. It's just like season Which is just season three, 1 through 3, even. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how it's or not, why Netflix splits it up the way not. it does, but that's what we've been watching. And it's great. It's old. It's uh, not even it's just one season. Yeah. Paul looks really young. Um <laughs> and Noel isn't Mary there, Barry. but it's okay. <laughs> and Mary Berry's it's still back. pretty good. Or there, you know. But yeah, it's good. I'm pretty sure I've seen these before, but you know, it's been years, so it's nice to watch them again and who know, whatever. Who cares? Did you finish the There's the a, recent season? I've seen every episode. Great. Yes. Um, I'm so happy that the person who won won because they really deserve it. And I was hoping they would win the entire. Uh, I'm glad he won, but I also didn't really want him to win. Well, I really wanted, but compared... uh, like he did a really good job and he for sure deserved it. I just wanted it to be the other guy. 
But did but the other guy really I think overall like over time didn't show as well as the one who won. We're not saying names because I mean when is it? This hopefully you've all seen it by now, but don't want to spoil it for anyone. Still, I feel like he was I think specifically in that day he was better. In that day, I for think. sure. Yeah. Which is that sadly. day was rough for everyone though. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, oh, I'm boy. sad that the woman who lost the semifinals lost the semifinals instead of going on because I yeah. think she deserved it more than the other one. But anyways, that's not what that's we're right. talking about today. Today we are talking. We're going about to talk about. Us. Well, we're going to talk about this podcast and how it came to be because I'm sure you're all wondering how the heck who does make a podcast story? and why did these two bozos decide to do it. But also, hey, if these two idiots can do it, why can't I? And that's what you'll be asking but yourself by the end of the is, day. <laughs> you can't. You, you can. It's actually really easy. It's not even that hard. Yeah. So. Kendall only included me to be nice. She could have done this all <laughs> by her lonesome. <laughs> um, no. Well, I mean, I could have started a podcast by myself, but I. No. Also, because, yeah, so we, well, we go let's go first. back into the past, Gavin. Let's hop into our time machine. Oh, my gosh, Kendall. The year We're is the 2017. Past. Probably. Oh, my God. Everything is so weird. We're so young. Gavin, there's so oh much gosh. film we need to learn. And How I will we dared. ever learn it all? And everybody's talking really close and shaking hands. What is this? Oh my god! What is no this one's wearing a mask. Random what the fuck? past. Ooh, it sends shivers down my spine. Excuse I have me, a you final sir. Tomorrow. What day is it? <laughs> Why um, today is twenty seventeen, of course. <laughs> but what's the day? Yes, but what day? Of, I don't what remember day is the it? days. I only know the years. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Jack Collier. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Did you say Jack Collier? How do you know who I am? No, okay. Anyways, I knew Jack. <laughs> um, we're going to edit that part. <laughs> no, it stays for sure. So in 2017, what were we doing? You. That was winter, I think. It was winter. Nor... Was it 2017 I or was did in... we come up with this no. in 2018? No, it was definitely winter 2017 because I was not in production one yet. I was in Patrick's 250 class. However... One of our friends was in Patrick's production one class and they needed some voice actors. Oh, yeah. And do you know who right. they asked to be voice actors? Two different people. And they, they said asked no. Bruce Willis and Selena Gomez. <laughs> and they both said no. And it would have been expensive. Luckily, I got Selena Gomez's part. So that worked out for me. <laughs> Luckily, Gavin wasn't doing anything, and no I also life. wasn't doing anything, and I got roped into it by association. And I so was here there we are. too. Anyways, we in to... production one, we had to do a project, a sound project that was focusing on sound editing and sound mixing, and we had to take a movie trailer and then take out all the sound and then recreate and re-record all of the sound ourselves. So... Yes. Our friend Anne was Fun working memories. on the project. I don't remember what trailer it was. It was some horror movie. And she needed people. She asked you because you have a really deep voice. <laughs> and then... That's not true. Uh, My voice is high as a I think one of the other people flaked, so she asked me last minute to come play a child's voice and someone else's voice. And I was like, you know what? Yes, Sure. And what I remember is that you were still recording your stuff or you had just finished recording. And so we were going to swappy swap. Oh, Something like that. but then also she needed some other sound, like sound effects, like doors and stuff. And, and yeah, like, That's a wind like effect. giggling and like voices and whatnot, because this was for a horror movie or something. So we were both in there at the same time and doing a bunch of random shit, um, making, you know, knocking and talking and whispering and dumb stuff 
And then it just got carried away from there. Um, <laughs> I remember there was a list and it was like, we need all these sounds. I need all these yeah. sounds. So do what you can. So and then we, we just kind of did it. Five minutes. But then it was still recording and we just kept going. You know how Gavin and I like to go off tangents. This was going off of tangents, but in a sound effect realm. So going off tangents, off of tangents, then back around and then to a different tangent. Yeah. And we were was, doing things that were like completely not even relevant to the project. You know, we went from doors knocking to like train whistles to whistle whistles to books to scary voices to <laughs> we were basically creating so i have a record that is a spooky sounds record i got this for like two dollars at an antique shop because i thought it was the stupidest greatest thing ever but it's basically a record <laughs> of like 30 minutes of spooky sounds on either side and it literally it just repeat like creaking doors chains jingling haunted wind Going and zones. whatnot and that's basically what Gavin and I were doing. <laughs> but for like um, a half hour. For like a half hour. And Anne didn't stop recording. I don't know why. But she just kept recording. So she, by the end of it, she had like a 30 minute long recording of Gavin and I just being dumb doofuses. And we tried to find the recording. I thought I had it somewhere, but I didn't. And we weren't able to get it. Um, for this episode, but it is somewhere out there, unfortunately. <laughs> it's still somewhere out there somewhere haunting us in the abyss. Out there, please do not sue us. <laughs> I think if you change the words, it's okay. No, those were the words. That was well, the song. Okay. Somewhere out there from an American tale. Somewhere out there, please don't sue us. Well, yeah, I changed it at the end. <laughs> <That's how> it starts. <laughs> well, yeah, so then amid all of our sound effects we started doing impressions and so you pulled out your mickey impression <laughs> and then i pulled out my bane impression this is just to do gotham you're cool too you don't have to laugh like that um ho 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 i'm santa <laughs> <laughs> and uh I don't know then, if we were still recording when we decide when we were doing this, but we were like we just started back and forth talking as Bane and Mickey. We probably got it recorded. I don't even. Really, I was, don't even know. There yeah, was so somewhere much stuff in there. That got recorded. Yeah, but somewhere by the end of the day, we were like, "Hey, what if we had a talk show?" And it was Bane and Mickey. And it was Bane and Mickey. But then we we're like, "That's too hard, and we'll probably get sued." Like, what if we're Bane and <laughs> so, Mickey. So we just call it Bane and Mickey, but it has we we talk about dumb stuff. And then we added in a lot of fun sound effects. We were gonna get like a xylophone, a recorder, mm -hmm. and we other did get stuff. I do have most of the instruments that we were gonna acquire. Uh because I had them. Um you know, a buzz whistle, xylophone. Maybe I'll record some sounds for you to input here. That's fine. Um, and we wanted it to be like one of those old like 1920s radio shows where all the sounds are like reproduced live you know mm -hmm. that was the goal and then we were gonna just it was just gonna be a talk show we would have guests on and then we didn't know what we were gonna talk about I think we were gonna have random topic time as like that's what each episode was gonna be we're going to pull some random topics and just sort of and, and then just go off on them and see where they landed See where us. it went for like 30 minutes. Um, yep. So then we started the random topic time jar. This literally all happened within like a week's time. We were like, we're going to make a podcast. It's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. So we had a bunch of sticky yep, notes jar. left over from Blue Haze. <laughs> and uh, I asked some friends to fill out random topics. We put them in, Gavin and I filled out a couple, I think. Uh, we just filled it out and then we kept the jar and then we were gonna make the podcast and then we got busy. And plus it's expensive to <laughs> And it's expensive. Equipment. We weren't really sure how we wanted to do it. Uh, we had a recording booth at school that we were like, oh, we could just use this, but there's only one mic, um, but we could, check out a mic from 
the equipment room. Also, we're like, we don't <laughs> know what we're doing. Or also, we, we were it. like, we need an engineer. Most yeah. Things. Do we need to ha have someone record us? And then we were like, how do we edit a podcast? And then we were like, you know what? We're idiots. We're still in school and we don't know what we're doing. We're busy and, and forgetful. We're busy. And forgetful. So it became one of those things that we were like, oh, yeah, we need to do the podcast. And then we wouldn't talk about it for a few more months. And, and then, then it would like, come up oh, again. Right, the podcast. Dang it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. We'll do the thing. And then, and we, then the we were going to do, we were going to do the podcast legitimately, I'm pretty sure, in the fall of like 2018 or whatever. But then, you know, I was like, hey, Gavin, I have an idea. And we did a different project instead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we made our web we series. Made Black oh, is that what that was called? I could have sworn it was community. Oh, oh community? that one. Yeah. You know, the classic. I thought we made community, but so we kind of replaced the podcast project with a different project with a different project. And I we weren't like I think at that point it was kind of like a we were still serious. Like it was still something that would be fun to do, but it was also kind of like a eh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We were kind of I mean, we were really busy and focused other other places, you know. School, um, other projects. School, that project, you were going into your stuff. last year, so you had your yeah. your capstone to work on. And then, I mean, I initially was going to be in my last year and then I, I, I didn't. And then, you know, we were just, you know, stuff, life. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. And then you and graduated away. and ditched me. And sure like, did. what the heck, man? What the heck? Well, Where defense, is our like mediator you. therapist? This is a group therapy session. Gavin, you left me. God damn it. How well, in my you? defense, I don't like you. Oh, and I okay, that's you to fair. Suffer. No, that's fair. That's justified. It's fine. <laughs> Get out of here. Take Stitch and go. All right, bye. Um, <laughs> no, not Stitch. Stitch, come back. Yeah. Um, Stitch is Gavin's cat. I don't know if that's been made clear at this point <laughs> or not. I'm you sure may hear him hear in sometimes the in the background. <laughs> He's a pretty whiny baby. Um... He's needy and he needs yes, he his dad. Um, yeah, so then you left and that was fine because I was just focused on school and I wasn't really doing a whole lot of film stuff. I was doing a lot of theater stuff. You were working and, and then, then also, you got married. Yep. Actually, this is rewind to before that even. Oh my gosh. Rewind. We were mm -hmm. going to do season oh, two of Oh, we were. We were. Mm -hmm. Yep. We were planning that. after season that. one... Because um, after we shot season one, then we had to edit it uh -huh. and put it out. And then we mm -hmm. retired. And then we retired. We took a break while it was publishing. But then mm -hmm. we were like, we were still doing a little bit of stuff. I know we had the announcement that we were filming. And then we were working on, we made the like uh, log lines for various episodes. We for had two. some writers lined up. That we were and you and I actually with. had, we had mapped out a schedule. We As have, well. we did have we did a full, a like six episodes, something like yeah. that, that we were planning on doing. And, and we had a we had a pre pro schedule, a writing period, and development mm -hmm. period, and then a production period. And writers so, and, and writers, everything. yeah. So we were working on that for a while because in January, February, we were working with the writers to write mm -hmm. a lot and working on that. And um, then. But then the world Something happened, fell apart. What burr, 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 no, burr. that wasn't it. Well, it was kind of Did it. Did they release a new flavor of Oreo? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. I was making a joke that diminished the worldwide pandemic we were all in, and oh, I didn't even hear Oreo what... cookies. Okay, I didn't even hear what the the joke was. I said, uh, I said, was something going on? And then you said the world was ending. I said, no, that wasn't it. Did they release a new flavor of Oreo? They did release a new flavor of Oreo. Um, they have gluten-free Oreos now. <laughs> Isn't Aren't Oreos already vegan? Oh, not gluten-free. They're free. vegan, not gluten-free. They're gluten -free. vegan, not gluten-free. Um, anyways, uh, they have, I'm sure, made multiple new flavors in the last 12 months. But 
let's see, yeah, January, February, and then the dreaded March. The which it's still March. And... Isn't it? <laughs> it is. Might as right? well still be. We're still in that 30-day quarantine period. By the time we get out of quarantine, it'll be March again, so we'll just claim it to be <laughs> <laughs> the same year, right? Can we just redo 2020? Actually, Honestly. you know, I take it back. Let's not redo 2020. Let's move on. We'll skip ahead to 2025. All right. The pandemic is in its final stages. The stay-at-home order has finally been lifted. Oh, my God. Restaurants can be at 30%. The vampires capacity. leave their caves and burn in the sunlight that they haven't seen in five years. <laughs> um, but the pandemic happened. What is human interaction? And we were still going to try and do a second season of Black Box. Yeah. But everything was really it, up in the air. And but as it stretched on, we were really couldn't follow yeah. through with that. And there was also like um various things like our writers needed needed a break um with mm. just everything going on. And so we were like, yeah, we're not going to like there's no deadlines anymore. <laughs> what our deadlines um 2020 took them away. And then yeah, we were like we wanted to do season 2, but we we're like we don't know when the industry is going to open back up again and we weren't really comfortable filming or, or producing anything until the industry standard had been set as far as um, COVID regulations, um, which we did not have a good timeline analysis for. So it was like, we couldn't really even do like pre-pro because it was like, we don't know when it's going to happen. So we were just like indefinite, put it on hold. And that's where we're uh, at today. Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, also because I was graduating. Yes. And moved. And you got married. That's still later on. We started what? the podcast beforehand. Well, no, we didn't. Yes, we did. We started planning it, but we oh, didn't wait. start recording it until after. Well, okay, fine. But... So, yeah. So then I moved, but I had already had a plan with... Jack and I were working on um, a little web series where we needed to. Uh, it's a it's a puppet show, so I voice one of the characters, and we hadn't recorded my voice for the second and third episodes, so I had a mic that I was bringing with me when I moved, so that I could, after it was edited, I could record it on my own, um, or record remotely and send it back to Jack. Um, to put in. So I already had a mic and I was like, hey, Gavin, we're not doing anything. And I feel like being creative. What if you also got a mic? And then we did this remote thing and we brought the podcast back. Just in a more watered down, less extravagant form. Yes. And I said, <laughs> I'm broke, bitch. Right. So Gavin was like, I'm broke. I don't want to do it. I need blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, but what if we didn't do a 1920s talk show and instead we talked about movies and television? And Gavin was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. I'm in 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's sort of like what I said, but the opposite where I was like, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. Right. And then I came up with that idea. And okay, that sure, whatever. Idea. You have to tell yourself. Um, so then I Gavin was like, wait, 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 I have a better idea. What if we talk about television and film? Television being first, film being second. And I was like, you know what? It's not as good as my idea, but I'll take it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we call it the Mickey and Bane show. Right. Uh huh. Alpha. So Bible. yeah, we decided to keep the name because it was like a throwback, callback, and also we're not creative, so we couldn't come up with another name. But um, it's Plus also it wouldn't just really fun be a and better dumb. name than that. Right. So we spent like two months planning it out we made a bunch of documents gavin and i love documents <laughs> yeah we do um love them docs one could say we have too many documents in which i say what is too many documents anybody that says that is an idiot is a poor planner and serves to go down in an unorganized <laughs> hell yeah, so we just kind of talked for, you know, the month or so, um, and we we're like, okay, what are we going to talk about? What are some things we want to talk about? We made a giant list of 
everything and anything that we want to talk about. So films, um, film topics, TV series, is debates, our favorites, blah, blah, blah. And then we we're like, let's do it. Right. And so far, we've actually kept pretty good to that list. And we haven't made too we many have. variances. We have. Yeah. So then we made the list and then we were like, OK, what order does this need to be in? So we did a lot of planning beforehand, which is like, whoa, planning. Oh, my God. Crazy. That's our free pro right there. It's surprising, um, especially when the world is based on no plans right now. Um, yeah. And then when did we start recording? September? No. When did you get married? <laughs> Gavin, what's your anniversary date? <laughs> First test question. of being a married man. 26th. Of? We recorded, started in October. Yeah. I got married <laughs> on the 26th. Um, it was a Saturday. Congratulations, and Gavin. You passed the test of marriage. I'm just bad with remembering things sometimes. No, I feel um, that. So but then we, I went on a kind of honeymoon staycation thing. Yeah. This was before Halloween. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. It was into September. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, we need to pause. No, <laughs> because you're just going to start whining again, mister. Uh, and I'm also recording again. Stitch. Ah, damn you. Stitch, I love you. Stop whining. He whined to that. Oh, great. Well, he loves me. It's fine. I don't... He's I never even him. met he's me. He's <laughs> been a big asshole lately. Uh, he's the anyways. the biggest asshole. So Gavin has so, a child... It's a furry, it's a furry baby. His name is Stitch. It's a furry baby. He's one year old and he is a big pain in the ass, but I love him sometimes. Just wait until Gavin's an actual dad. Hopefully that won't ever happen. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we did a lot of planning. And then, yeah, you got married because we were like, we're, let's record, but you were going to go out of town. So we we're like, we'll wait until after you get back. Just make it easier on. But we did. Us. That way we don't lose any momentum. Yeah, yeah. And I don't remember. I did we we recorded a test, but was that before or after you came back? I was after. We didn't okay. do any recording until I came back. Okay. Yeah. So Gavin came back. We did recording. We did a little test to be like, can you even record a podcast remotely? Turns wow. out you can. Because we've been doing it. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, and then we did the first episode, and what a ride that was. We just sort of talked about movies, and now here we, we are. We talked about movies, and then we recorded for the next consecutive two months. And here we, we are. Two episodes a week, and here we are. Yep. <laughs> that was our time machine going back to the present. The year is are. 2020. In the present. December 8th. Recording right now. Whoa. In front in oh my front god! Of no audience, except for my cat, who's now staring at me. <laughs> he's our biggest fan. Isn't that right, Stitch? He also might be our only fan. He's our least favorite fan because he knows that I take up all of his dad's time, and he, he hates me for it. That. And by all of Gavin's time, I mean an hour or two, like once a week. But you know, for a little kitty cat, that's a lot of time. <laughs> no, it's not. He's just a asshole. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about you. <laughs> so, yeah. So we started doing anyway. the thing. We record two separate audio files. We sync them at the beginning. And then whoever's going to edit them, we send the file to the other. And we edit. We line them up. And we add an intro and an outro. And we and make sure we there's no mistakes. <laughs> and then we export it. And upload it. That we do. And call it good. And that's pretty much how it all began. Yep. I'm sure you've heard more of our origins on our full 380s in a piece of paper podcast. Oh, yeah. It all started in 2016. As Kendall was walking 20... out of their high school and entering into a new phase called university. Meanwhile, university. on the other side of the state, Gavin City's Citis walked out of his community college and said, you know what? I no longer want to do a business degree. I want to study film. That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, um, word for word. Yeah, I mean, anyone. It's not that hard. Can make a podcast. Anybody, you just gotta make. You just it. gotta have something to record on, and by that I mean not necessarily a mic. You just need a uh, system or application that will record. Of course, if you have a microphone, it helps with the sound quality and whatnot. Um, and then you need some way to edit it, unless you're just going to post it as is, which, you know, you do you. So again, you'll just need an application or whatever uh, to do so. Um, and then you publish it. Um, we did a lot of research figuring out what company we use. wanted to use um, for publishing. There's various options. Um, we chose the one that was best for us. And then we use Buzzsprout. We do use Buzzsprout. That's a plug. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. We use Buzzsprout, which allows you to upload um, a certain amount of hours every month, depending on your plan. Um, there's various plans. There's a free plan that lets you do like 40, 30 or 45 minutes a month, I think. Um, and then you can connect it. Buzzsprout also connects it to various other uh applications. So that's how we're able to get our podcast onto Spotify and Apple iTunes um, for easier access. Um, they have many other options as well, um, but those are the ones we've mainly been using. And then, yeah, we just, every week or so, we meet remotely on a video call and we set up our mics and we record. And occasionally have guests who also And record. occasionally have guests. Yeah, we've been using uh, Zoom for our guests. Um, and we just record the Zoom call unless our guest has a mic or a way to record on their own. Um, and then, yeah, we, again, just add that file, sync the files, and add it in. It's been easy, pretty good. Easy peasy. Lemon, lemon squeezy. And I mean, you know, Gavin and I both have film backgrounds, so, like, we have experience in editing audio or, like, setting up productions and planning and stuff. But, I mean, that's not, like, any, you know, it's just not nice. And so it comes easy and naturally for us, but it's not like, yeah, it's anyone can do it. Not that we're saying you Indeed. should, because then you're going to be competition and uh, you should listen talk about to our else. podcast. If you talk about and... movies, you're lame. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have been creating a little bit, but you weren't really doing a whole lot of creating, but come in nope. to do the podcast. This has been a great little creative outlet, um, you know, and it's indeed it has. It's a fairly simple, fairly easy commitment for us, at least with our busy schedule. So, um, yeah, and we did. I mean, it depends how, you know what you're feeling and what your schedule's like, but Gavin and I backlogged a bunch of episodes. Um, you know, we said we started recording in October and November. Um, Cause initially um, the new year was going to be really, really hectic and busy for both of us, but um, plans changed. So, but we wanted to just have a bunch of episodes ready to go. That way, if we forget or are too busy to record one week, yeah. we have extras. Yeah, especially with like the holidays and whatnot, like we've been able to take a break um, for a couple weeks um, without having to worry. And it's nice with um, Buzzsprout, um, you can upload and schedule um, your podcasts. So we've also, you know, when things are finished, edited, things are edited, we just upload them and schedule them and then we don't have to worry about it. It just does its own nope. thing. It's really nice. Sometimes Indeed. I forget that it's even happening. And then it's like, oh, shit, I need to make a social <laughs> media post <laughs> to remind people to listen to our content. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Hopefully you've enjoyed our origin story. Yeah. And hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. I mean, it's not nothing. It's not a, it's type. not Peter Parker, but it's, you know, it's something. There's no Uncle Ben's murder. Oh, Jesus. It all started in 2017, as Gavin was walking down the hallway of Lind Hall. All of a sudden, Kendall rushed past, knocking him out of the way. And then, behind him, Jack Collier rushed past, knocking him out of the way once again. And he said, hey, stop, you thief! And he ran after them. But as he was running after them, he realized if he had Someone stopped them, shot. perhaps Uncle Ben would not have died. 
And Gavin sat there on his knees in the middle of the courtyard, mourning no. over his Uncle Ben. And then he realized, wait, this can all be solved if I bring back my Mickey voice. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> and then... Fast forward to the present. It's random topic time. <laughs> <laughs> what a great transition. Thank you. Anyways, I hope this was a good episode and we're going to do a random topic now to entertain you further. Do, 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 do. Here's the jingle that we still haven't made. Temp jingle. Okay. Why does... What does that say? What? Oh, oh, oh. Why does Liana eat cake with chopsticks? This seems like a really specific question. Um, I don't know why cake specifically, but I know my brother sometimes is known to eat Cheetos or Takis with chopsticks, and that's just to not get the dust on his fingers. But I don't know. You do you. Do you know how to use chopsticks? Use chopsticks. I don't know. Okay, new topic. I wouldn't say know how, but I can sometimes do it. <laughs> you know, you do you. Okay. New thing. What do you do to unwind? This. Watch TV. <laughs> pet the cat. I'm not a complicated person. I don't know if I pet him a ton, but I yell at him a bunch. Oof. I go for walks with music or podcasts or audiobooks. I paint or draw. And I play my video games on my Switch. Nice. All right, new topic. Do, 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 do. How long will these two continue to choose random topics until they discover the world does not care any longer? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Until These we run out so or make more topics. They did not realize that all of their listeners had stopped listening. Do, 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 do. Cool leather. No, I realized it. That's the topic. Cool leather. Cool leather. I own two leather jackets. Three. I own I zero. Three. Wow. Um, I what? think. Didn't I give you one? No. I did. Uh, you, it was too big. <laughs> oh, still should take it. You brought it over, and then I think either Kevin took it or Tina took it because it was not gonna remember. fit on me. It looked really terrible on me. Well, looking really terrible has never stopped me before. <laughs> I know there was a point. Kevin has this leather jacket that was like studded or something, and he wanted me to paint it. With the two pint colors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, new topic. Do 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 do. When will this get old? Never. <laughs> what could you solve? Oh no. Yeah. Or talk about in a two-hour impromptu lecture slash TED Talk on. Doctor Who <laughs> and or the history of television. No, not the history of television. I could do a pretty decent talk on Doctor Who. I could probably do that. You could probably, yeah. Doctor Who or like Justice League. The importance of television. <laughs> I could probably do one on Sherlock Holmes. Uh... I could definitely do one on The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And no. I could probably do one on The Incredibles. <sighs> Kendall's a nerd. Kevin's a nerd. What? what? Anyway, new topic. Do, 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 Say do, that do, to do, my do, Rick and Morty shirt, do, do, Kendall. Do, 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 do. You're a nerd. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Oh my gosh. Last one. Leather Final topic. or denim? Leather. Leather? Unless it's pants. 
<laughs> you know, I like a good leather jacket, but that just fits my terrible '90s brunch. So, unless it's pants, unless but you know, leather I, jacket, leather chaps, leather gloves, oh leather God. wrist bracelet, leather hat, denim leather pants. necklace. But it has to be denim pants. Oh, leather yeah, earrings. Leather yeah, I don't think I'm a big leather fan eye of patch. leather. It's squeaky and it's hot. I wouldn't say I'm a, and it's I'm not a big fan of leather, but not, it looks better than denim. It looks better, sure, than denim, sure. But denim's more comfortable. Would you ever wear leather pants? No. Have you not. ever worn leather pants? Also, no. Mm. I learned my lesson watching Friends to never wear leather <laughs> pants. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. You know, you want a lot of things from friends. A lot of things of what not to do in life. Um, Thanks, Ross. I think I have worn a leather jacket for various roles. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's fine. I feel like you can't move very much in it. It's really hot. It's fine. Well, if you want to just be negative, Kendall, <laughs> yes, all those things are true. Um, negative, Nancy. Yeah, good old, good old denim for me. Uh, yes. Well, this has been a little more of a of a chill episode. A little more loosely formed. Loosely formed little plan i know we talked about having a plan today we did not have and a then plan we, this is the least planned episode we've probably had yeah but that's fine it's fine sometimes you just gotta you know go with the flow you know just you know, whatever uh yeah next week we'll get back into some other stuff and and then we'll get back into some more films and whatnot and uh yay films continue and on with the good wholesomeness that is the bane and mickey show Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week and good night. Good month, good life. Good night. Good year. <laughs>